there comes a moment in everyone's life when we feel like maybe we haven't done enough, contributed enough, like we can do more, be more, be better. We search for that one experience, that missing part that will push us to become the very best version of ourselves. I took this old dream, the last missing piece of my sick experience, and signed up for a project that would contribute in the only way I knew would last permanently, through education, by working for the Sustainable Development Goal number 4. My little traveling library was a project focused on teaching English to primary school children in the rural area of Tanzania. The only language used on primary level throughout the entire country is Swahili. So often, students have a hard time adapting to the new system and they end up losing one or two years of education. With every class, every book and every game, I try to plant the seed of curiosity, of ambition in the minds of the children. You cannot teach a language in six weeks, but you can show them the way. Help them build new habits around studying English and encourage them to believe in their own potential. One day, one of my students came to the front of the class to share a sentence in English. What he wrote down broke my heart. I am hungry. I didn't know how to respond or process it. Education is the key to improve the world, but it's still a long-term vision. And planning and thinking ahead is a luxury not many people can afford. Not when you have to worry about what you're going to eat tomorrow. Tomorrow will always be a priority. It's something that still echoes in my head, that I'll probably always remember. All throughout my internship, I was so focused on giving that it took me a while to realize how much I was receiving. My students taught me how to trust my own voice, to go after what I want, to be humble and to always stay curious. By trying to teach them a lesson, I was reminded of what I needed to learn myself. Finding courage to embrace uncertainty is becoming comfortable with being vulnerable. In saying goodbye to Tanzania, I'm also saying goodbye to the person I used to be. Now I realize that the biggest changes you'll ever go through don't break down your walls, but rather sneak underneath your skin, unnoticed, until you end up looking back in disbelief of how much you've changed. We all want to leave our mark in the world, but how will you know what the world actually needs if you don't go out there and find it out for yourself? How will you know what you're made of unless you crack yourself open? Dare to dream big and go far. Playing small never served anyone. My name is Karina and I'm working for the Sustainable Development Goals. What are you doing about it? <laughs>